Hi there. Um, so I'm going to be talking a little bit about one of the projects that we were able to participate in while we were in El Salvador with Asa Prasar. Um, so one of the things that we did was we were able to teach how to take blood pressures to members of the community. So high blood pressure is a really big issue in El Salvador. Their diet tends to be on the higher fat side. Um, high blood pressure and heart disease are prevalent issues. But many Salvadorans, um, they lack the knowledge and the means, the resources to be able to treat and manage their high blood pressure. Um, in addition to this, a lot of them, they lack the actual equipment, so they didn't have access to stethoscopes and phygmomanometers to actually be able to measure their blood pressure and track it. Um, so like I said, while we were with Asaprosar, we were able to teach manual blood pressures to two different groups. The first was a group of women and men who were health inspectors for the community. And they shared with us that when they go out into the community and do their home and health inspections, they're often asked to measure blood pressure from community members, but they didn't know how and they didn't have the equipment to be able to do so. So part of what we did was to go in and teach them so they can bring it out into the community. So when we got together with um, this group, we started off by doing some education about heart disease and high blood pressure. Um, symptoms and signs, what it was, and the different effects it could have on your body if it wasn't managed. Then we taught them how to actually take their blood pressure and measure it. Then we let them practice on us and each other until they felt comfortable and we felt comfortable that they were able to get an accurate reading. Um, so then we did the same thing again with another group. And this was a group of women from the microcredit program with ASA Prosar. So for them, we did the same thing, education on heart disease, um, and allowed them to practice until they felt comfortable. But the big difference was this group was that their plan was to turn that new skill of taking blood pressures into a sustainable business. So their plan was to um, actually take this skill out and charge a small amount to people to measure their blood pressure and use it as a means to support their family. Um, so teaching these women was a really cool part of our trip, um, and it benefited people on a lot of different levels. So the people in the community would be able to get their blood pressure checked and monitored, um, and then these women would have a way to support their families and create their own business. Um, so at the end of the program, we also were able to donate a couple sphygmomanometers we had brought, um, and Asa Prosar was planning to distribute those to a couple women to use for their business. Um, Asaprosar tries to use an incentive before they give um, the women in the microcredit program equipment such as a sphygmomanometer. Um, so it might be going to a class or furthering your education, learning a little bit more, just some incentive before they give something out so the women will have a sense of ownership over um, the items that they've gotten. Um, so this project was one of my favorite things that we did while we were in El Salvador. Um, all the people we worked with were really eager to learn. They were friendly, welcoming, they were excited about what we were teaching. Um, so that just made it a lot of fun. They were great people to work with. Um, and I hope that this is something that future groups could continue because it was very rewarding, sustainable, and it was a lot of fun.